Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio FanDuel, who's here to take a look at the top stars on the board for week number 12 in Daily Fantasy. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. We're focusing in on the main slate. Jim took care of the Thanksgiving slate, so let's jump right in. Let's begin here as we do each and every Tuesday. We'll talk about your top running back on the board, and that is Nick Chubb. Chubb is priced at $8,400 this week, and Jim and I were actually guessing after yesterday's show how much Chubb was. I went over. I went 85. He went under 82. He falls right in the middle here at $8,400 after having... After been really being really good each of his first two weeks back from the injury, we know what Kevin Stefanski likes to do on the ground. We know how successful they have been, both Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. Why is Chubb your favorite running back on the board here in Week 12? Yeah, you kind of touched on a lot of those points. We know what we're getting from Chubb. He's not going to have much involvement in the passing game. We know that the Browns like to run the ball uh, with uh, Kevin Stefanski, as you said. And he's also been consistent since coming back from the injury. Uh, 19, 126, and 1 in one game, 20, 114, and 0 in the other game. We're getting high volume and we're running back in the, you know, in the rushing first offense. And on top of that, he has a great matchup going up against the Jaguars. They're allowing 23.6 FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That's the six works in the league. We see the Browns coming in as road favorites. It's a six and a half point road favorites with a 48 over under against the Jaguars. So we have a, a favorite. We have a running back that's going to see 20 total touches. Going to be able to rush for over 100 yards. I'll take him. Facing a Jaguars team, as you mentioned, that they are favored heavily against on the road. Cleveland's going to want to run the football, as they always do. That's the Kevin Stefanski offense. We know what we're getting. Nick Chubb leads this backfield. Hopefully he'll find the end zone here uh, as well on Sunday. Kareem Hunt getting those goal line carries last week. Hopefully it's Nick Chubb priced at $8,400 this week. Up next for us, we go to the Carolina Panthers, and we go to DJ Moore. Moore is priced at $7,300 this week, and we aren't sure who the quarterback will be quite yet, whether Teddy Bridgewater is back out there or it's P.J. Walker. But DJ Moore has proven to be a threat no matter who is behind center. Moore, in your lineup here this week, priced at $7,300. Exactly. And I'm not sure it matters all that much who's going to be at quarterback for the Panthers. We saw Moore put up a very impressive stat line last week, 7-127. It didn't find the end zone, uh, but was still, you know, the most uh, targeted receiver for the Panthers. You know, that's something we want to be looking at. And, you know, I've gone back, uh, you know, throughout the year, I'm saying we've gone back and always targeted the Seahawks. But we also want to be targeting the Vikings. They're right up there as one of the worst defensive teams against wide receivers this year, allowing 35.9 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the fourth most in the league. So while we don't have an over-under in this game yet because we're waiting on the Teddy Bridgewater injury situation, we know we're getting a consistent wide receiver in a great matchup, and he can kind of thrive with who's ever at quarterback for the Panthers. DJ Moore, it doesn't matter who is throwing the ball. He's going to have the targets, hopefully get those receptions and the yards and hopefully the touchdowns uh, that will make him worth using here on Sunday for Carolina. Uh, No Christian McCaffrey expected to play, so they are going to utilize uh, their wide receivers more, we hope. And that means a lot for DJ Moore facing off against a Vikings team who, as you said, is vulnerable. We saw what C.D. Lamb could do last week. Hopefully DJ Moore is the one taking the mantle here this week. Final position to speak about today, it's your top quarterback on the board on Sunday, and that is Josh Allen. Allen's priced at $8,600 and is coming off of by well-rested, refreshed, that team getting healthy. And Allen has been one of our top quarterbacks on the board every week over on FanDuel. Why is this week he your favorite quarterback to choose from? So this season, Josh Allen has shown to be, you know, I would say pretty matchup dependent where in the great matchups, he's looking awesome and he's putting up 25 plus fan to points. And then in the tougher matchups for him, he's struggling, putting up 14, 15 and not really getting a whole lot done. This is one of the weeks where we have a great matchup. It's a 53 and a half over under going up against the Chargers. They're allowing the eighth most fan points per game to opposing quarterbacks, sitting at 20.6. Uh, we have him, like you said, coming off a bye, hopefully fully rested. Uh, we have uh, a quarterback that is always capable of putting up one on the ground, giving him a nice ceiling, along with over two in the air. You know, the Chargers are a great fantasy team to target, but their defense isn't all that good. Almost collapsed a little bit last week against the Jets. So I love the shootout potential in this game and hopefully Allen getting at least three total touchdowns. Josh Allen, the opposite of matchup proof here, needing the good opponent to really uh, explode on FanDuel and explode in your fantasy lineups. Allen, this week, in this matchup, it's it's all right. He should get that opportunity uh, to hopefully go off. Russell Wilson playing on Monday. Uh, You have uh, Patrick Mahomes in that later slate on Sunday at 4 o'clock. So Josh Allen slides right in here and is the right answer. Price, 
really, really well here, I think, at $8,600. That's going to do it for us here on today's FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. Do you have a value play for us? We're not going to speak to you the rest of the week. Sure. We got Wayne Gallman for the Giants. They're also coming off a bye going up against a weaker Cincinnati defense. And then Michael Pittman, you know, for the Colts, uh, emerging as their top wide receiver going up against the Titans, who we know are just so bad against wide receivers this year. So there you go, Wayne Gallman and Michael Pittman in your lineups here this week to get the stars in there as well. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck this week, and happy Thanksgiving, brother. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. We've got one more hurry up left to go this week, and that will be with Megan Nunez tomorrow. She goes over her top bet for week number 12. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.